Unity Point Health Cedar Rapids Heart and Vascular Institute takes you inside the heart for a balloon aortic valvuloplasty procedure at a Unity Point Health Hospital in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Our patient is Wally Henderson. He's an 87-year-old living in Eastern Iowa. He's a patient of cardiologist Dr. George Hodge from Unity Point Clinic Cardiology. His wife Donna says Wally has been complaining about his health. He did a lot of complaining about being tired, short of breath, and it just got worse, gradually got worse. Now he can barely walk around the house. He just does not have the energy or he gets short of breath. He's pretty much tired all the time. Donna says he's always been active until recently. He was a go do. He did not sit around the house at all. He was very active. And now he's just not, not out at all. He doesn't drive. I do all the driving when we go. He doesn't even want to drive. He's just the opposite of what he was. According to Dr. Hodge, balloon valvuloplasty is a bridging therapy before another procedure called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, which is a minimally invasive procedure for high-risk patients that uses a catheter to replace aortic valves. Unity Point Health Cedar Rapids Heart and Vascular Institute will soon begin offering TAVR. We could have gone out of town to have that uh, TAVR done, but uh, we want to stay here where we have our own doctor. And it's too hard for older people to go out of town. So if this will buy him time so he can have the TAVR done here, that's what we want. Unity Point Health Cedar Rapids Heart and Vascular Institute offers advanced technologies and procedures like the balloon valvuloplasty or TAVR procedures to help patients stay close to home. The heart has three arteries, one on the right side, two on the left side coming from main artery. He had uh, a severe blockage in one of the arteries on the left side that goes in the front of the heart, they called the left anterior uh, descending artery, and it had a lot of calcium in it. Uh, the other artery on the left side, which is the circumflex artery, had a chronically occlusion, chronic occlusion, or was chronically occluded, uh, but it was receiving blood flow from the artery on the right side. So the artery on the right side was good. Left anterior descending had, had quite a bit of calcium, which uh, is why we had to use a drill, which is a device called TSI. It's an atherectomy device. It just drills through the calcium and makes it easier for us to open the um, blockage. And then after we did the drilling, we put a balloon and then we put a stent with very good result. Once we opened the artery of the heart, we moved on to the valvuloplasty. Um, we used uh, a 20-millimeter uh, uh, balloon and we um, paced the heart at a fast beat, fast heartbeat. And the purpose of that is to, for a few seconds, to decrease the blood pressure substantially so that the heart, when it's beating, does not eject the balloon out. Because we want to keep that balloon in the aortic valve. So we're not really stopping the heart, but we're asking the heart to beat so fast that it's not very efficient and have low blood pressure for a matter of seconds. And then we inflate that, that balloon uh, into the aortic valve. Uh, and then we check the pressure gradient before and after. We've decreased it about 10 millimeters between before and after. Uh, and then after we were done, we. Uh, took the pacemaker out, we took the balloon out. So the first balloon we used was 20 millimeters balloon. We inflated and then we measured the difference in gradient. We've made some improvement, but we want it to be more aggressive. And we then used the 22 millimeters balloon and we went up again as a second inflation with the same exact technique, but with a larger balloon in order to try to achieve more room into that aortic valve. And after that, we've noticed some more improvement um, again, this is a procedure where you don't want to aim for perfection. This is not going to cure the problem. Uh, this is going to make things slightly better. Uh, better enough so that the symptoms improve for a few more months in order to get to the cure. Um, like I said earlier, if this was a valvuloplast, if this was a TAVR, this gradient would completely go away with one inflation. We won't be trying to do more and more uh, because it's curative. This is not a curative procedure, this is a procedure where we try to get the best result we can 
and sometimes even minor improvement in the pressure gradient like 10 millimeter decrease may cause significant improvement for the patient for a few months. So it was moderate amount of improvement today. It wasn't the largest improvement I've seen with the valvuloplasty, but it wasn't uh, the smallest either. So we dropped the gradient about 10 millimeters. That's considered a very decent result. Um, uh, his aortic valve stenosis is very critical. The gradient was 54 when we started, and it was 44 when we ended. So it is still more than 40. So it is still severe, but it was critical, and we made it a little bit better. So again, this is not a cure. This is a procedure that buys some time. Um, and it works great for some, and it works not as great for others. We invite you to learn more about Unity Point Health Heart Care Services and how to prevent heart disease.